We are following a developing story out of Virginia. Police say two teenagers were stabbed in Annandale last night. One of them was killed. The other is still in the hospital. It's the first murder of the year in Fairfax County, and police say the suspect is just 14 years old. Police say they found a 17-year-old boy with multiple stab wounds on Wadsworth Court. It was outside of an apartment complex shortly before midnight. Well, the boy later died at the hospital. Nearby that stabbing scene, police found a 14-year-old who they believe is the suspected killer, and that 14-year-old had also been stabbed. He was taken to the hospital. News 4's Mauricio Casillas spoke with the victim's brother, who says their family is dealing with an unspeakable loss. Paulo Castaneda had only been in the U.S. for five months. The 17-year-old is from Honduras, but was now living with his brother here at the Fairmont Garden Apartments in Annandale. Pablo's brother Isidro tells me they were celebrating a birthday party in one of the units Saturday night. At one point, Isidro says his brother walked outside and that's when he was stabbed. Solo pensé en rescatarlo, pero... Isidro says all he could think about was trying to save Paulo, but when he went to help, his brother couldn't speak and was giving his last breaths. Fairfax County Police say the teen suspected of stabbing Paulo was also stabbed and remains in the hospital. The circumstances surrounding what exactly happened are still being investigated. Isidro says he's not sure what was behind the stabbing. He says those who knew his brother will remember him as the good person that he was, a hardworking, friendly kid. Fairfax County police say the suspect and victim knew each other from previous disputes. Police also say an 18-year-old was treated for injuries believed to be related to the stabbing, but it's still unclear what role they may have played in all of this. This woman who didn't want to be identified due to safety concerns says she's scared and saddened to see such violent acts involving young people. Isidro says his family in Honduras is suffering as they mourn the loss of Paulo. Isidro says that he's now looking to raise enough money to be able to send his brother's body back to their native country of Honduras. Reporting in Annandale, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.